healthy rivers, lakes and streams are a vital part of our landscape and are home to our best loved species, species such as kingfisher, otters and salmon. Clean rivers nourish our well-being, creating spaces allowing us to play, swim and fish by them. And healthy river catchments and floodplains can help to protect communities from flooding, lessening the effects of climate change. But tragically, the majority of our waterways today are not fit for purpose and are abused, overused and undervalued. Instead of thriving, our fresh water and its wildlife are dying. In 2020, none of the rivers, lakes or streams in England and Wales were in good overall condition. The main causes of this disaster are pollution from agriculture, industry and raw sewage being pumped directly into our rivers. A whole range of toxic chemicals and physical waste making our rivers unsafe to swim and fish in. Algal blooms are suffocating the river plants, removing oxygen from the water and causing fish to die, which is bad news for the animals that rely on these fish for food. In UK waters, the sturgeon and the burbot have already gone. Salmon are disappearing at an alarming rate, and the European eel, that was once so common that it was used as a form of currency, is critically endangered. The new Environment Bill for England is set strong targets for cleaning up waterways and prevent future governments from weakening existing targets like the Water Framework Directive. We need to invest in better infrastructure to stop sewage getting into our rivers. We need proper funding for the Environmental Agency and Natural Resources Wales um, to monitor the state of our rivers and to properly enforce regulations against water polluters. We also need to restore wetlands along our floodplains and allow our rivers to meander naturally, creating habitats for wildlife and slowing down the flow of flood water. With our voices combined, we can ensure that we create a cleaner future for our rivers, one that sustains future generations to come.